Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photo P Phone Tutorial. We've done a text portrait before using Photoshop on a computer. Today I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using your mobile phone and Photo P. The end result will look something like the one you can see in front of you here. Okay, let's get into it. So first thing we're going to need to do is come out of our photo reels and go onto the internet. Okay, we need to type into the internet Photo P, the online photo editor, and it will load like this. Next, we need to open our file. We're going to do the text portrait with. I've got a folder here where I've got my Photo P tutorials, and there's my picture. I'm going to add it to Photo P. Now, the first thing I need to do is crop it. So I'm going to draw a rectangle over the bit I would like to crop. Once I've done that, I'm going to go Image and Crop. I then go View and Zoom in, so I can see it a bit better. View, Zoom in again. That's too much, so zoom out. Okay, I'm going to make it black and white, because I think it looks better in this case. So I'm going to go Adjustments, Black and White, pinch the screen so I can see the OK button, click OK. While I'm here, I'm going to adjust the contrast and brightness, give it a little bit more contrast and a little bit less brightness. And again, pinch the screen and click OK. Now, I need to draw a box where I'm going to have the writing, so I'm going to choose the Rectangular Select tool. I'm going to carefully draw a rectangle over half of the face so that it is where I want it. I will click on the Layer button next. I will make a new layer. I will then click the little switch around button here so I've got the black paint. I will click on the gradient tool, find the paint bucket, and tick into the box. So I've now got the place where I'll be doing the writing on. So far, so easy. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit trickier. We're going to use the text tool, and we're going to start typing some text. Um, we're going to choose different fonts, and we can choose whichever font we want. I will choose a nice standard font that will work really well for this effect. I think that one will work quite nicely. So, we need to make sure we are typing it the right size. So I'm going to go for a 100 point. And we need to make sure that we have it indented to the right. And we need to make sure it's in white. So it will, it will work so we can see what we're typing. Okay. So I click where I want to type. I will need to deselect first. I need to click where I wish to type. And I'm going to write smile. I'm going to do it in caps lock. Smile. Done. And I will place it there. If it's too big, I'll resize it in a minute. Okay, so I now need to write another word. And this time I'm going to write it a bit smaller. I want to make sure I'm actually writing another word. So, smile, and, oh, make sure I've double tapped, and that, uh, click on the move tool to move it, place it where I want it, and then click on the type tool, type another word, I want this one a bit bigger, so I'm going to go for 120, see if that's big enough. Might be too big. Click on the type tool, double tap the world. We click on the move tool. So remembering which tool you're on is always tricky with any kind of editing. That works. And then smile in the world, smiles. That's going to be too big, so I'm going to put this one on to 90. 
smiles, forgot to cap, type of two letters, double tap, smiles, click on me to click on the type tool. What we'll do, we'll put all the writing and then we'll start moving it around. Make this one a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's that one, isn't it? Click on that one, make that one a bit bigger. Click on the type tool. With, forget to press the button with move tool, move the writing, there we go. And in the type tool one more time, last word, remember to type with capitals this time. Done, there's all my words. Move tool, move them where I want them. So I want that one down here. Now, I'll bring this across and show you something interesting. When we have the words, they're all on separate layers. So if I want to word, move the word smiles, I click on the layer with smiles written on it, and then I move that one. Now, if I want to move the word you, I click on that layer. That one's actually in the right place. The with is the one I want to move next, so I'll move that down a bit. Then I want to change the smiles over a little bit. And then I want to go to one with world, and that's the one I want to make bigger. Now, sometimes if you click on it, it will start twisting. If you don't want to do that, go step backwards. Instead, I can go on the type tool, select all the word, and then change the size over here. I'm going to go 120. Click return, click done. There it is, done that. Click on the move tool. Move it down. Then I need to click on layers one more time and the click on layers, move that down a little bit. And then last one is click on smile, click on the layer, click on the move tool, move that down over. And perfect, right. That's the writing bit done, that's the tricky bit. So now the rest of it, we're home and dry. We go to select, we go to color range. We make sure that it selects all of the writing because it's white on black, so it's really easy. We click OK. You'll now see that it's all got a flashing line around it. We need to go to select and inverse, so we've just got the writing that's cut out. Then we go to the layer menu. We hide all the eyes of all the writing. We find the layer with the black bit on it. We click on that. And then we wait for the magic to happen with our text portrait. We go to edit and clear and then select, deselect. And then we will just click on a different tool so you can see what we have done. Smile and the world smiles with you. There you are. That is our text portrait done on photo on our phone so we'll go file export as a nice jpeg we'll click save download it and i'll just show you what that looks like in a moment so we'll just come out of photo p go to my files and there is the new one that i have done which i to be honest with you actually prefer so there you go text portraits photo p on your phone Simple steps, have fun creating. Now, if you like this video, remember to click the subscribe button for Quentin Carpenter's Nature of Flowers. Tick the notification so you are alerted every time I post a new video. Okay, hopefully you'll give it a thumbs up as well. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.